Hi, today we're going to be going over the features of the Access Automation Auger System. To start, we have a hopper that first receives the product, which will then move up the tube and up to the top. The system can be raised and lowered via this pneumatic cylinder, and it hinges on this point right here. The controls for raising and lowering the system are located on the left side of the enclosure, and it operates on a two-way momentary valve. To raise and lower, first we have to come in to support the auger, remove the pin, and as we're lowering, we want to support the pin. The auger system. Once in place, take your pin. When it's lower position, you can easily move the system through most of any doorway due to its lower, lower height, as well as perform any maintenance or sanitation processes. For example, both motors, your auger motor and vibratory motor, are easily accessible at the back, and at the front, you can easily remove the auger for sanitation. Sanitation and maintenance of the auger shaft is completely toolless. To remove the shaft, first remove the clamp that's holding the bushing together. Set that aside, and you pull the shaft straight out. And you can easily remove this for further cleaning. In addition to removing the shaft for sanitation, you can easily remove the feed tube with the band pipes on each end of the tube. Raising the auger system is the exact same operation as lowering it. Again, remove the pin. Use one hand to support the mass and the other to operate the valve. When raising, you may have to, let the, you may have to allow the cylinder to build up pressure. And once in the upper position, again, you start to So guards that may be placed over the top to prevent any injury. Once in place, installation of the guard is completely toolless, but if desired, can be more permanently installed with the use of a 17 millimeter wrench or socket.